What are you doing? Oh, I just gotta make sure it's not cold. I don't want to get any complaints. Just, I can't get fired. Just give me my food. I can't get fired, dude. You'll be fired if I tell him what you just did. What did I do? You're just grabbing my rice, man. Oh. Hey, we're gonna have a situation here because I can take two, care of it right now. My baby don't mess all right, good morning, you beautiful people of the internet. This week has been absolutely completely random, so I'm gonna try and walk you guys through it the best I can. We kicked off the week with a little bit of a DoorDash prank that Canel Joseph did. Shout out to you. Oh, dude, we're ready. <laughs> okay, all right, so we got our first order. I'm not gonna lie, I am extremely nervous for this. I don't know how people are gonna react, but I, I guess I just gotta duplicate the order. So let's get that done. You a DoorDasher yourself? I am. Saw a video of some dude eating someone else's DoorDash order. Nice. Couldn't imagine. Imagine ever doing that, you know? <laughs> crazy. crazy, yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Did I mention my parents tried putting me up for adoption when I was little? I did not. Yeah, they did. Can I just get some chicken fried rice as well? I mean, since I'm here, you know, mine as well. Can you get a name for that one? Uh, you can just do J-Dog Cash Money the 3rd. How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing good. Sorry, I just took a couple bites. I got a little hungry. You you got the fried rice, right? Yeah. It was really good. Really? What? Can I have my food? Uh, yeah. My bad. I don't want to get any complaints that their food's cold, you know what I'm saying? Dude, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Oh, I just gotta make sure it's not cold. I don't want to get any complaints. I can't get fired. Just give me my food. I can't get fired, dude. You'll be fired if I tell them what you just did. What did I do? You're just grabbing my rice, man. Oh. Hey, we're gonna have a situation here because I can take care of it right now. You got a couple burgers? Yep. Nice. Where, where do they come from? Burger? I got a little hungry, so I took a couple bites. It's cool, man. I smoked this new strain called Harambe's Ball Sack before I got here and I got really high. It's cool, man. I'm sorry, bro. Just bring it in. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do it. It's my first day on the job. Oh, hello. Uh, so I'm actually a magician. Would you guys like to see a magic trick? Uh, that's okay. All right. Well, now you see the sandwich. I'm not gonna lie, the prank did not go too well. Everyone in our area just had us leave the order at the doorstep, so. But we tried to rebound the DoorDash prank by going to one of the most haunted hotels in America. So here's that footage. <laughs> Oh, you suck. <laughs> so 60 and a 40 starts off as a four point violation with a $300 fine. Okay, this is where things get better, all right? Mm -hmm. On the back, this is a mail-in, okay? So basically, well, how the mail-in works is it's an, on, it's an online, you can deal with it, it's an online guilty plea, right? If you look at this and you go, yeah, I, I was doing that, right? And you, and you want to, to get a better deal, you can do it that way. A three hour drive later and we finally made it. I feel like, uh, what, what's their name? The two kids that already did a documentary here? Sam and Colby. I feel like them right now. <laughs> like we're just walking into this hotel. I really hope that we actually capture some ghost stuff. The worst part about like ghost YouTube videos is the people that watch it, they just never actually feel the vibe. And you guys, for all you know, we could be faking half of this, but. Yeah, have you guys seen any like haunting things happen here? Yeah, I've talked to some people here that said they. That definitely is. I've stayed here before and I heard something scary happening to the room next to me. Really? Yeah, I heard like a, uh, <laughs> all night long. Say haunting on three. Haunting. Say possession. possession. Say Osama bin Laden. No shot. We gotta get in. I'm not leaving this place without getting in here. Apparently this is like one of the most foul things with the most spiritual activity, so. So we're on a mission. This might be the first time I'm ever gonna abuse my quote unquote clout and I'll be like, hey, like I have a little YouTube, like I'll promote you guys for free in return, get me into the concert hall. Excuse me, you look like a man of power. We need to get into the concert hall to uh, fulfill this video we are creating. You won't do any filming in there, sorry. Oh, I don't, all right, I don't wanna be that guy, but uh, I have 500 subscribers. <laughs> What's up, buddy? It's been a little. It's been since we blew up some basketballs. You a little bit nervous at all? I know. I'm a, I'm a like tiny bit anxious. Well, this time you have my word that we're not going to be screwing with you. So anything that does happen, we're catching some spirits tonight, guys. Dude, this does look a bit more ghetto. Wait, so Chloe, is room 208 haunted or no? I'll get into it when we talk about it. 
Oh, it's really bright. I put Chloe up to a little bit of an assignment and uh, she did her research. So she's gonna give us a little breakdown of this hotel that is supposedly one of the most haunted hotels in the United States. So the Stanley Hotel was built on indigenous land. So that means that there was a lot of death in these areas. <laughs> dude, who, which, who did this? Who did what? To the toilet seat, dude, <laughs> dude. Who the f did this? Chloe. Dude, Chloe. What the f? <laughs> <laughs> I did not do that though. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> okay, so we need to get to the fourth floor, which is supposedly the most haunted floor. And I'm assuming that's where Chloe is too. You see anything haunting up here? Anything spooky yet? You want to come investigate with us? Oh. <sighs> My dog. I know we just met you, but we run a whole ghost investigations channel. And it would mean the world if you would be down to kind of be willing to contact the spiritual world. Um, so if you just want to repeat after me and take it very serious, you know, that would really mean a lot for our channel and for this video. Sure. All right. Uh, I, okay. Okay. To the spirits. To the spirits. We wish to contact you. We wish to contact you. In this world. In this world. We hope that you will be out tonight. We hope that you will be out tonight. And be willing to speak with us. And be willing to speak with us. And? And? To my uncle. To my uncle. Please stop touching me and my sister. I need a hug, dude. Every family Thanksgiving, when the cranberry sauce comes out, he just goes full ham. You think they would notice if I took this home with me? Uh, yeah, you know, you don't think I could walk out of here with that? People who get caught are the ones who do it on film. If there's any spirits in here, make this light flicker right above us. What if it's all a marketing strat and it's, this place ain't actually haunted, yeah, yeah, man? Yeah. Let's be real here. People die everywhere. People have died where you live, where you live, where you live, where you live, your grandparents lived. Everyone died somewhere. Why would this place be more haunted than anywhere else? Especially Auschwitz. A lot of people died there. Tons of people died there. Yeah, millions. That was really upsetting. Yeah, people die everywhere, you know? Uh, no, you bring up a good point. We're just, we're really trying to go viral with this video. I hear you. If I, if I don't go viral on YouTube, like every Thanksgiving, I'm just going to keep getting wet willies and keep getting smudged up on. And it's really starting to affect my mental health. I don't even want to know what he does with my grandma, Nancy. She doesn't deserve any of that. She's a paraplegic. I have a lot to tell my therapist when I get back. Yo, are you guys making a YouTube video too? Oh, <laughs> you mother fuck. Oh, shit. Good morning. You survived the night. Nothing too foul really happened. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, now? Oh, oh, oh. Dude. <laughs> you got a punk. Oh, I actually did. No, I just kidding, dude. That was my own burger. This one's yours. Yeah, Completely sealed. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm really sorry, bro. Oh. I didn't mean to do that to you, dude. Yep, Can we hug it out? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just really sorry, bro. Just, just I need a good 15 second hug. Dude, I'm really sorry. Oh my gosh, dude. It's all good, bro. I just found out my grandpa's... I just, I just found out my grandpa's cheating on my grandma. 